Hello everyone. Welcome back to Win Cuisines. Today I'm very happy to show you how to make parda pulao or parda biryani and it's also called bun biryani. I'll show you the step by step procedure so that it can be easy for you to follow. This is not a traditional way. This is how I make but I can guarantee you the end result will be perfect and you get to enjoy every part of this. We'll start with chicken first. For that, here I have one pound, almost 450 grams of chicken. To this, we'll be adding few things. For that, here I'm gonna chop a handful each of mint leaves and cilantro or coriander leaves, two green chilies, seven to eight pots of garlic, and ginger almost an inch size to those we'll add all the powders that i've shown in the ingredient list and we'll mix all these together take one small spoon from this mix and keep aside for rice and rest all we'll add to the chicken Here I have sliced one big size onions and two medium sized tomatoes. I'm gonna add chicken to this and mix everything together really well. Here the pan is on medium heat and I'm adding two tablespoons of oil to this and we'll add our marinated chicken. Then we'll cover this and allow this to cook. Mix in between and uh, let that cook until the chicken is soft or tender. It's been a couple of minutes now. Let's check our chicken. The chicken is cooked well and you can see the oil starts to separate. So this is done. We'll mix everything together, then we'll cover and keep it separate and we'll move to the next step. Second step we'll make rice. Here I have enough water to cook the rice and to this I'll be adding two to three bay leaves, one star onions, two small cinnamon sticks, two to three cloves, three black cardamom, four to five green cardamom, and half teaspoon of caraway seeds. Now we'll let the water to boil along with all these spices. Here the water starts boiling and we'll be adding our 2 cups of basmati rice to this. Usually basmati rice before boiling I always wash the rice couple of times then I soak for 30 minutes. To this we need to add salt to taste, juice of 1 lime and a teaspoon of oil to prevent rice from sticking. Now allow the rice to cook to 70%.
now here like I said the rice is cooked up to 70% uh, I'm going to strain this and allow this to cool for some time after that heat the pan and add 1 to 2 tablespoon of oil to this I'm adding half of one small onion and one small carrot and mix well To this I am adding one spoon of the mix that we kept aside from the chicken mix that we use for marinating our chicken. Then sort all these together for 3 to 4 minutes. Ok so to this we will add half cup of each red and green color bell peppers or capsicum and a little of green peas. Add enough salt and then mix all together for one more minute. Alright, to this we'll add our cooked rice and mix everything properly. You can add vegetables of your choice or even if you don't want to add any vegetables you can totally leave that out. The reason I'm adding vegetables into this is because I feel it's a complete meal like we have protein, vegetables and carb in one dish. This parza pilaf you can make in whatever way you and your family likes. If uh, you prefer to have a vegetarian food, you can make only with the vegetarian items like paneer or soya or any vegetables of your choice. At the same time, uh, if you prefer a non-vegetarian version, you can add accordingly like you know your favorite meat like uh, chicken or beef or mutton or whatever you like. And we'll keep this separate as well and we'll move for the next step. Now we'll do the third step which is making our parda or the dough. For that in this bowl I have two cups of whole wheat flour. You can make with uh, all purpose flour as well but I prefer to make with whole wheat flour. To this we will add half teaspoon of salt and uh, one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Give everything a good mix. To this I am adding two tablespoon of oil. Add enough water, mix everything and knead until we get a soft dough. So this is soft now and it's good enough for me and I've used less than one cup of water in total. Now roll the dough to the size of the pan in which we will be making our parada pulao. After that, fold the dough like how I am doing here. This is the pan in which I will be making my parada pulao and I like to grease the pan with some ghee or clarified butter. You can use butter or oil as well if you don't want to use ghee. Now unfold the dough like how I am doing it here. Okay, so this is perfect. So we'll start with our layering. First, let's add some ghee. 
then we'll add the rice that we made. In this, I'm not adding any fried onions or cashews and raisins. If you prefer adding all those, feel free to add according to your taste. I like to add a layer of mint leaves and cilantro or coriander leaves. Next, we'll add our chicken. After that, we'll add rice one more time. Now carefully seal the dough, try not to break it in between. Then brush some more ghee on top. Next we'll do our final step. For that I like to place this pan in which we'll be making a parda pulav over an old pan. Put the flame on high for 3 minutes then reduce the flame to medium medium low and cook for 20 to 25 minutes. After that, place another pan on top and flip the pan like so. Then keep this side on medium flame for another 3 to 5 minutes. We are doing like this because we want the other side of the dough to cook as well. All right, so now it's uh, four minutes now. Now I'll open this and show you. Wow, it looks so good and tempting. I think this can be a great addition to your Christmas menu. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel Win Cuisines and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of the videos we upload regularly. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. I'll be back with another great recipe. Until then you all take care and God bless.